all right hey guys so for today's video i'm going to be explaining why i am no longer vegetarian yes the gag is out i'm no longer vegetarian and y'all are probably wondering why the heck she's not vegetarian anymore so that's why i'm sitting here explaining in detail why i am no longer pursuing this diet i posted on instagram about two or three days ago it's a little tiny paragraph my instagram is erlaine saints here follow me <laughs> i also am going to be doing a little q a part but for the first part of this video i'm just going to explain like when i turned vegetarian what i eat how my body changed and then like why i'm not anymore and then i'm going to answer those questions personally so let's get into it i became vegetarian around late 2016 so it was after the summer like summer 2016 that like school year i became vegetarian on august 4th 2016. i've been vegetarian for almost two years people ask me this all the time one of the main reasons was the health benefits because i was not happy with my weight at that time um i will insert pictures throughout this video of what my body looked like as i was you know in kind of transitioning throughout and all that stuff that summer we went on a vacation to myrtle beach with my family and family friends i was in the water park i told my mom to take a picture of me and this is the photo this is what my body looked like i had no shape to my body during this time i was kind of going through like body issues and all that stuff i didn't like how my body looked i gained a ton of weight um when i got into high school freshman year i was eating a lot i didn't really work out that much my dancing i wasn't dancing as intensely as i was this year and over that summer like i didn't have any tone or definition it came to a point i was like something's gotta give i need to change my diet now a lot of you are probably wondering why didn't you just like portion control or just eat meat less why did you totally cut out meat well for one since i was a little girl i've been picky about what i wanted to eat what meat i wanted on my plate the only meat i really ate was chicken i only liked chicken chicken tastes good chicken wings chicken nuggets chicken sandwiches steak pork neck bones um gizzards like chicken neck i didn't eat i didn't want all that i didn't eat all that ribs i was never crazy about it meatballs none of that the only meat that you would see me eating most of the time was chicken but beef chicken and like ham like I, that was all you saw me eat long story short i was never a very pungent meat eater growing up and even now so i was like why don't i just cut it out y'all are also probably wondering why don't you just eat only seafood become a pescatarian i never liked seafood the only seafood i will eat is fish and shrimp and i'm also very very picky about my shrimp and i only eat grilled fish not fried fish not anything else so it came to a point i was like i mean i'm already picky about the meat i eat i don't eat it that much i hate seafood so why don't i just cut both of those completely out of my diet and become vegetarian i decided to become an ovo lacto vegetarian ovo lacto means you can still consume milk and egg products if you're just an ovo vegetarian you can only consume eggs if you're lacto vegetarian you consume only milk no eggs so i decided to combine the two together since it's closest to what i already eat anyway so i made that decision doing my research after a while i was just like i really need to change my body i hate i hated my body freshman sophomore year just literally hated my body like i said i was going through a lot of body image and like appearance issues i was kind of going through eating issues too like i was just really like in in my head about how i looked and i wanted to make a change that's when i became vegetarian obviously vegetarian at school and like at home and when i ate out wasn't an issue i was eating a ton of different things i'm gonna pop pictures on the screen at home my main meal was rice and a bunch of stir fry vegetables or steamed vegetables or vegetables i would consume a ton of beans a ton of rice as for stir fried vegetables peppers broccoli carrots cauliflower snap peas green beans just a ton of different like garden california style like mixture of vegetables a lot of the times we just buy the mixed style vegetables from kroger walmart Publix. like it's just a mixture of that but that was my main meal i remember one time my dad made me pasta and that one thing i miss is pasta i hate spaghetti but i love pasta it's just the regular smooth pasta and he put like fried potatoes in there i love potatoes so much potatoes bunch of vegetables mixed in there and it was really good with like a sauce over it when i made mine i just used penne pasta and put my mixed style vegetable bag in there mix it up in there with like soy sauce tomato sauce like to make a sauce because i don't like just plain tomato sauce my mom would also make me 
wraps. I used spinach tortillas. That was so good to make my wraps. I would eat French toast sometimes because that is eggs and I can eat that. There's no meat in there. When I would go out, some if they had vegetarian menu, I would eat off of that. I remember I went to this Cuban restaurant once. I got rice, um, green beans, uh, fried plantains. I say bun on. That's how you say it in Creole. Uh, I remember once I went to Frontera. I just got a regular burrito. asked for no meat in it. A lot of the times when I ate out, it was just me subbing things in and out. If you go to Chick-fil-A, they have a grilled cool wrap with grilled chicken in it. Just ask for extra veggies and then you have yourself a veggie wrap. But I basically, long story short, found a lot of tips and tricks on how to eat in the house and outside of the house. But in between me eating in and out of the house, there was a lot of me not being able to eat. Sometimes my family or my friends would go to places that didn't have vegetarian options. Yes, you can sub things in and out, but truly it's honestly very irritating and frustrating to constantly keep doing that every time you go out of the house. Like I said, my main meal was rice and veggies at home. Yes, it's good, but it gets very repetitive. Erlene, why didn't you make your own food? Sometimes there was no food in the house for me to make and going to the grocery store and getting that is a hassle. Yes, I was still eating a lot of the foods I was still eating when I wasn't vegetarian, but constantly buying vegetables, fruits, even like fake meat because I ate a lot of the Morningstar chicken nuggets, the veggie burgers, the buffalo wings, like I ate a lot of that. That stuff's not cheap either and it all adds up after a while, especially if you're shopping the perimeter of the grocery store, the organic section. The organic section never has and never will be cheap. The fact of the matter is no matter how bad you want to be healthy, you're gonna have to have money and invest. Being healthy is never and never has been cheap. I'm not saying my family's poor or like we're broke or anything like that. It's just like sometimes they just don't want to spend money on that and I understand that and I felt bad sometimes that I would be like hindering them in that way because they would have to go out of their way to buy me those extra groceries so I could have food in the house to eat. And it came to a point I was just getting really irritated with that. One time I went to the doctors and for my daily checkup the doctor told me that I was running low on iron levels. Now if you become vegetarian or vegan it's very important that since you are missing one of the biggest like nutrients that meat gives you which is protein, vitamin B12, like all those other stuff, iron and all that, that meat gives you, you have to. You you have to replace it by putting that back into your meals with another food and that's something I was not doing. I was very low on my iron levels and you get iron from eating dark leafy greens, very like clean alkaline foods. You get iron from that and I was not eating a lot of that until recently. That's when I started kind of getting back into it. When you have low iron levels, you have the risk of becoming anemic because you're not producing enough. I think it's hypoglobin, a content in your blood that keeps your blood the color red and helps for oxygenated blood cells to pass through your body you know and i was borderline anemic i was also becoming protein deficient protein deficiency is never a good thing never has been i mean i fixed them don't get me wrong but it's like it scared me and i'm like this could all be avoided if i just started eating meat again i was picky with my meat and i didn't eat it that much i still ate it and i got all the necessary necessary nutrients i got from it. A lot of people that do turn vegan vegetarian are doing it for the ethical purposes of it, whether it be for the animals, they don't support the meat industry. No, I don't support the meat industry. I never have. The things they do to those animals, the way they treat their food, the companies that process all of our meat and chicken and all that stuff, I don't support it. But that doesn't mean I'm going to put my health in danger. And I know there's probably going to be some vegan or some vegetarian that's going to be like, oh, you just like that doesn't make any sense. Honey, I can do whatever I want. And one of the last reasons that really like put the icing on the cake for me, it was just like, obviously I've, I had cravings for me every once in a while, but I would be able to suffice that with, you know, eating fake meat or just like looking at pictures of it. But it started coming to a point, especially it was this year, like the beginning of this year, that's when I started contemplating like not being vegetarian anymore. Because instead of me helping myself, I felt like I was restricting myself from something that I really wanted. And if there's one thing I don't support, it's restricting yourself from something you really want. That's why I don't like diets necessarily. You eating is just being on a diet. Everybody's on a diet. Everybody eats a certain type of way. Everybody eats something. That's part of your diet. But you restricting yourself from eating stuff, that's not a diet. That's calorie restriction, that's diet restriction, that's not okay. Because you can mentally hurt yourself from that, and physically. And I felt like I was keeping myself away from something I knew deep down I really wanted. And y'all are probably wondering, bitch, it's just me. Why are you freaking out? 
I'm freaking out because like I know that I want it but I keep telling myself no you're a vegetarian you can't go back you're not gonna let these people say I told you so you weren't gonna last long and I was in my head about that because when I first changed all my family told me you're not gonna last some of my friends told me you're not gonna last and I wanted to prove them wrong I've been vegetarian for a year my mom tells me all the time she's so proud of me for doing that because a lot of people would not be able to do that I feel like I'm on a high horse so I have to be an example and I'm like just get off your high horse and eat what you want instead of frying your chicken you can grill it Instead of frying your chicken, you can bake it. Like, instead of frying your chicken, you can roast it. Like, you can make meat healthy. It was coming to a point, my mindset was like, it doesn't matter what type of meat it is, it's meat, it's unhealthy, it's not good for you, it's nasty. And I've seen so many videos and people on PETA's website, they tell you why meat isn't part of the natural human diet, how we're naturally herbivores, not carnivores or whatever. We're omnivores, okay, honey? We both have carnivore teeth and herbal of our teeth embedded in our human DNA. We are allowed to both consume meat and plant-based diets, but we have the ability to grind and tear up both meat and plants. It's just that simple. Some extreme vegans think that we just have to eat all plants. I'm sorry, not everybody can do that. So don't force that upon everybody, you know? So that's what I decided. I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. And I'm now no longer a vegetarian. Okay, so now that I've kind of explained that whole thing, I'm going to answer y'all's personal questions y'all had for me about my vegetarianism, why I changed, etc. First question, what were the physical effects of being vegetarian and what do you think the effects will be now that you aren't? It really kind of balances your body, but I do agree that I did get my shape and I did lose some weight because I weigh more than I did freshman year because I've been working out and all that stuff. I gained more muscle mass and muscle weighs more than fat. So that's kind of why I gained weight. Compared to the 2016 Myrtle Beach picture, this is what I look now as of yesterday. So boom. Okay, I also forgot to mention because I know a lot of you are going to ask like how I lost all the weight so quick. So combined around this time with my vegetarian diet, I also bumped up my intensity with dance this year. I started going to the gym a little bit that year as well. I kind of like shut all the weight and you're gonna see in like the picture transformations at the end of the video soon, like how my body changed from kind of shedding on the fat, gaining muscle mass. My legs slimmed down, but they bulked up because I got muscle. Kind of everything just like, you know, worked out. I also forgot to mention while I was being a vegetarian at the beginning of the year when I started kind of changing my mind I started eating really junky. There was no meat in the products but I was still eating really junky. I was eating a lot of candy, a lot of chips and be like oh it's vegetarian I'm okay but like it's not okay. You're still eating junk food and junk food is not okay for you. Instead of me being able to eat the baked chicken or grilled chicken in the fridge I would have to opt for a bag of nacho cheese Doritos because that was all we had. When I was eating healthy, I did get my shape. I did feel so much cleaner. My digestion was so much better because I have really bad bowel problems. So it's hard for me to poop sometimes, but that kind of fixed because I was eating more fiber and all that stuff in my body that I wasn't getting before as much. I'm actually still gonna kind of keep a vegetarian diet. I'm just not gonna be blaming myself as vegetarian because I am eating meat. I loved the way that I felt eating the way I did. So I'm gonna keep eating like that. I'm only just gonna incorporate meat when I feel like it. Not having meat in my body for almost two years is definitely something I'm gonna have to adjust to. I have to kind of ease into it. Do you think vegetarianism will be an option in the future when you get your diet back in shape? I don't think so. It's not that I don't like the vegetarian diet or resent people that are vegetarians. It's just, it's just not for me anymore. At some point, like when I, at the beginning of it, I really was set on not eating meat anymore. I stopped eating healthy. I stopped feeling good. I started gaining weight because I wasn't eating right and like the working out just wasn't counteracting that so so i don't think i'll ever go back to being vegetarian i had a nice run it felt good while i was doing it but my time is done and i'm not doing it anymore was your fam disappointed and are you disappointed in yourself my family was not disappointed my dad actually kind of agreed with it he was like i don't really know why you totally cut out meat when you can just kind of eat it in moderation since you didn't eat that much anyway my mom didn't really care either she was just like you can do what you want you can eat what you want um my boyfriend also said that he was like you can eat whatever Whatever you want whatever makes you happy like you don't have to like hurt yourself like that when you know you want it and you just don't let yourself eat it 
And am I disappointed in myself? No, I'm actually very proud of myself because a lot of my friends and family didn't think I would be vegetarian for that long anyway. So the fact that one, I proved them wrong is amazing feeling. I mean, you did what you had to do. <laughs> now you can go back to eating like what you want. Like you deserve to be happy. And if you're not happy being vegetarian, don't be vegetarian. Cause I wasn't happy. I felt like I was keeping myself away from things that I wanted. about going vegetarian or vegan or whatever just make sure that you and your heart know that you're happy with what you're doing do not force yourself to not eat things that you don't want because if you know deep in your heart that you just can't stay away from chicken wings or steak or whatever you eat or bacon honey eat that shit because nobody can tell you anything i love you all so freaking much and i will see you in my next video